The advancement of mankind demands a breakthrough in alternative energy. Current renewable energies such as solar, wind, hydra and biomass do not collectively or alone have the power or sustainability to supply the world's insatiable energy demand. The next step in our energy evolution is overdue. For the past century, we have been aware of the ultimate power source, yet we have not had the technology to achieve it until now. We're about to embark on a new journey that will fundamentally change our world. This process is called nuclear fusion. Our sun and the stars are nuclear reactors of a different kind. They utilize nuclear fusion, a reaction on the forefront of modern science, and for good reason. It is safe, clean, and releases a million times more energy than a combustion or chemical reaction. Fusion can stand alone as a real energy source for our evolving civilization. Clean, aneutronic nuclear reactors require a mixture of deuterium found in seawater and an element called helium-3. One of the major problems is obtaining a supply of helium-3, which does not naturally occur on Earth. Since the Earth was formed, helium-3 has been blasted out from the Sun and deposited on the Moon by solar winds that the Earth is shielded from. The Moon's soil has been absorbing helium-3 for billions of years. There is now approximately 1 million tonnes of helium-3 on the Moon's surface, a lunar average of 50 parts per billion. This can be extracted by heating the lunar dust to around 600 degrees before bringing it back to Earth to fuel a new generation of nuclear reactors. A space shuttle cargo bay, or about 25 tons of helium-3, could power the United States for a year. This means that helium-3 has an economic value of $3 billion per tonne, which makes extracting it from the moon a viable proposition. Applied Fusion Systems is dedicated to the extraction of helium-3 and the research and creation of its own aneutronic nuclear reactors.